Hey there, everybody. Welcome to our afternoon edition of Big Brother 22 All-Stars Life Eats Boilers. And it's a weird day. It's been a weird few days, but, you know, it feels like there's a pretty clear path to what's going to happen this week. And yet, mm -hmm. things are still very, very active. We have the aftermath of the Christmas Bailey and Davon situation last night. We've got people sort of plotting and trying to figure things out. David is trying to be an investigator, which David doing anything in the house typically isn't great, but David is often entertaining while he's doing it. He is very entertaining while he's doing it. So I appreciate you, David. Thank you for what you're bringing, even if you are a train wreck on this season. <laughs> but uh, we are going to get into all of this. Before we do, though, if you guys do enjoy this video, give us a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for more, and support us by checking those links to our store. We have shirts, mugs, other cool stuff there, phone cases, and of course, our Patreon. And thank you to all who have supported that. We have another live chat coming up over there at the end of the month. And we also just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's been in the comments and having discussion about everything that's been going on because we know that this is these situations have been really heated for a lot of people yeah. on like BB Twitter and people are getting really upset and I understand everyone's really invested in this and everybody is landing on different sides of this but you guys in the comments have been really holding it together yes. and having good discussions about something that's really heated in a way that's not destructive and man i really appreciate that because there's a lot of comments going on and yeah. it's uh it's not always that easy when people are heated about stuff and i think you guys are handling it really well yeah it, 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 we know this is a sensitive subject we know that there's a lot going on right now and even if you don't always agree with us which is totally fine we, we are course. not like agree with us or else here or anything else it's interesting to see a lot of discussions being had and you know this is going to continue over the next couple of days at this yeah. point we haven't even seen how cbs is presenting anything with tyler or christmas or any of that yet yeah but we'll start with christmas and her reaction today to the incident last night which we detailed in our morning update if you want to check that out where mm -hmm. she got into it with bailey and davon and you know her reaction to it has been a lot of her playing a tiny violin and talking about how she's really upset about a lot of this and that they're the ones in Bailey and Davon who made everything personal and that she is going to be attacked and all of this sort of stuff. And I will say that it's not really just the act of putting up Bailey and Davon. It's also just the way in which she's gone about it. I think if she had just said from the start, this is a game move. I played you guys. I'm closer to other people than I am you. That would have been one thing. I think her lying and acting as though it's due to this untouchable stuff that they are an unbreakable duo. They know that she's lying. They're not stupid. And I think that frustration has caused a lot of this. I agree. I think that it's this is a game where people lie a lot. Yeah. But your lies do have to be believable. And with... The amount of wall yellers that have been out there that have put Nicole and Cody together as a pair, and they are a pair, yeah. that it's, it is just such a lie that everybody is in <laughs> on, including Davon and Bailey. They know that what Christmas is saying isn't true, and she's trying to die on this hill, and they're trying to just say, like, just give us the truth like at one point davon even said let's just be straight just yeah. straight out what what is it what happened like why is this happening and, and christmas still wouldn't come out so i get where all the frustration is coming from and this is something we've said before as well with even people like derek and like paul who lost and i mean derek obviously won but paul lost because in part he didn't own his game and i think christmas if she does make it to the end, not saying I want this, but if Christmas does make it to the end, I think her inability to own what she is doing is very, very damaging to her. I'm not saying she has to say that Tyler is her number two or anything like that, but I think people know that she is lying and she won't own it, and that is going to be incredibly frustrating to either Bailey or Davon. Whoever makes it through this week is going to be on the jury. 
Yeah, she is making a lot of the very same similar mistakes that Paul made, which is not owning her game. And she is also mismanaging the jury really badly because either Devon or Bailey are going to be on that jury now and she's yeah. not going to get their vote. And now the way that she ended up handling the situation also is leading this into a situation where now other people are now looking at not working with her. Yeah, and I, I think they're frustrated by how messy it's continually become and how much she is sort of playing the what was me act when she, they were there. Like, they saw a lot of what happened and how, yeah, Bailey and Devon were upset, but they are also on the block, and Christmas put them on the block, and she hasn't been honest with them about why. And this boiled over this morning with David... David, David, David oh, decides David. that he is going to take it upon himself to go and ask Chris, Christmas straight up, what's really going on here, Christmas? Why did you do this? Yeah, and he kind of implied to her that, like, is it you that did this or is it other people <laughs> kind of making you do this? Like, Christmas is not making her own decisions. So Christmas, of course, was like, well, what do you, what do you mean? Why are you, why are you saying this? And... I understand why Christmas is getting pissed yeah. off about this because he's basically saying you're not making your own decisions. You're not running your yeah. own HOH. You're just being led around. You're, you know, not playing your own game. Christmas has made her decisions in this, whether they're good or bad or whatever you feel about them. Yeah. These are the decisions that were made by Christmas because the people that would have influenced her like Tyler didn't influence her in the way that she ended up wanting to go. One of the things Tyler did suggest bailing Dave on, but he also was really pushing to get Danny up on that block. Christmas was like, no, that's not happening. Put the kibosh on yeah. that. Then Tyler, I want you to put me up and use a veto. No, I'm not doing <laughs> that. Like Christmas is doing what she wants when she wants. Yeah, Christmas has made her decisions what David said is yet another reminder of David being bad at Big Brother, but I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of enjoying David doing this sort of stuff. And plus, she gave him the same sort of nonsense that she's given other people with this untouchables commentary, which David, you know, David may be bad at Big Brother, but David also, he's, he's perceptive enough to understand he that is. this is full of it. But David, David's in an interesting place now because I feel like he... I, I think he does want to be close to some extent with whoever survives between Bailey and Davon and mm -hmm. to a certain extent Kevin. But I think he is also getting in with those guys and trying to stay in with them and trying to stay in with Tyler. Like David and Tyler had some game talk over the past 24 <laughs> hours already. Yeah, Tyler is trying to... I think Tyler is also obviously in some trouble. And yeah. while he's trying to say yeah you know i'm staying in the game i'm back in the game i don't 100 percent believe that he his heart is still in the game i think he's just he's still in the game yeah. so whatever it is it is at this point because he just hasn't felt like he's been in the game since he got here so he was trying to work with dave until david drove the clown car around and <laughs> ruined everybody's game the Tyler is looking to get back with David again. He said that he doesn't want to play this game without David. And I think Tyler knows that he needs other allies. He didn't, his body language told me he wasn't that crazy about the way Christmas was handling his, his wants to go home. Yeah. And now all this stuff, other stuff has happened with Christmas. I don't really know where Tyler is going to land at the end of this. If I had to predict, and I, I could be totally wrong with this, like, I think Tyler will be reasonable enough to Christmas <laughs> because if Christmas is willing to, you know, put herself in this position to not put Tyler on the block, I don't think she's going to put him on the block anytime soon. But I think Tyler is also going to be like, you know, I don't know how into Christmas I am at this point. And, you know, so he's trying to build these bridges with other people like David and telling David that, you know, maybe he wants Danny and Nicole up, which regardless of whether or not that's really true, we do know Tyler wants Danny to go at some point and it doesn't hurt him to get that in David's head so that David yeah. potentially will do that. It has been like two weeks now that Tyler has tried to get Danny up on the yeah. block and nobody's listening to him. 
Can we talk about Memphis for a minute yeah, here? Because let's talk about Memphis. I feel like David would still put Memphis up, but some of the strategy that's been going on here is that Danny was talking a little bit to Devon earlier, and she basically thinks Memphis could go all the way to final two, just because Memphis is fully in just like flopping fish mode at this point, where he is not contributing really strategically. Nope. He is useless in competitions right now. I yep. don't think his back is that much better. And his HOH wasn't that great, where his entire alliance learned that he's just going to do whatever he wants, and he's not really part <laughs> of the alliance at all. He just wants their votes, but he wants to do what he wants when he wants. And everybody kind of walked away from that being like, all right, Memphis gonna Memphis, here we go. But now it is adding on with he's got the bad back. Okay, can't really contribute. He's not really talking game. He's not really doing anything. Memphis is a perfect person to bring to the end. He's not gonna get anybody's votes. It's gonna happen all over again. That is Memphis's destiny. Memphis, like Paul was destined to lose closely twice. Memphis is destined to not get a single vote on two seasons of Big Brother. Yep. It would, okay, I, I don't really want Memphis to be at the end of this because that's not going to be compelling at all, but it would be funny. I think that people are starting to look at Memphis as a choice to bring to the end. <sighs> I, I, I think it is possible, because I, I, I think David is probably the only person who would put him up right away at this point, just because David knows that Memphis is probably going to come at him, which is, it is the ridiculous feud of Big Brother 22 that these two players, who are kind of largely non-entities, other than David's power, <laughs> it is like the clash of the non-entities. I wish I had a better name for this. Speaking of powers, Davon has figured out that Christmas likely has a power. This is so... This is what Davon is good at. I know Davon is not a perfect Big Brother player by any means. She gets caught up at times. She talks too much. She makes a lot of mistakes. But she is really intuitive. It's like she figured out that twin twist in her first yep. season. And here, she kind of figured out. And we saw a little of this on the show with her kind of standing by that platform at the end of it. Where... She elbowed, she was elbowing people when they were kind of going up there. And Christmas apparently made enough of a remark at around the time it was announced that Davon has sort of figured out that Christmas probably has one. And this could be something that she uses in her speech to throw Christmas under the bus even more come Thursday. Which is going to be very interesting because if Davon then also stays, <laughs> then it's just... It's going to get quite interesting because Christmas can't play. The the thing about it is, remember days ago we had this talk about is a Dave Vaughn and Christmas and Danny and Nicole Women's Alliance, are the women going to rise up in this house? Oh, they are not all riding together, no. <laughs> that is where that is going yeah. at this point. And, you know, some of the bros are probably liking this because it means that the women are all going to fight the women. And I don't necessarily think... That's the case. Maybe it is with Davon and Christmas because Danny and Nicole. They're tight. They're tight. They're still talking about who they want to target next. And yeah. You know, they don't really want to target Davon next. Yeah. It looks like they're kind of moving away from that a little bit, which is nice. We only are going to have four women left in the house. The guys have been pretty solid and doing all right outside of like Tyler and David. So yeah, it'd be, it'd be cool to see what they would actually end up doing. I, it feels to me like Kevin is going to be the person who's in, like, an extreme amount of danger moving forward. Yeah, Kevin's not really working with anyone on that side. So, I mean, this makes sense that if Danny and Nicole got some power that they would look to just take out Kevin. Yeah, just take out Kevin. If you need to put up David, you can put up David. I know that's one of the options that they talked about. They have sort of their idea as to where things want to go. And I know that there still is that blob alliance the mm -hmm. committee and i know that they are all still there but i think we are fooling ourselves at this point if we think that that blob alliance is gonna be final six because after everything that has happened this week i cannot imagine no, it no people are turning on danny people think memphis is useless christmas has really blown up her game i mean there's just tyler has also really blown <laughs> up his own game everything is quite a mess it is such a mess right now. It's and just really interesting that the only two people that don't seem to be a mess are Cody and Nicole, who are the people <laughs> that the wall yellers have been trying to blow up, but everyone around them is a problem. 
<laughs> also, I've got to give you a little bit of love here for your Enzo winner pick at this point because I am on board with this. I think Enzo is going to win this season at this point. I think it's pretty probable. He is really, really good at his social game and coming across as genuine. Yeah. And that thing that he does where he's like, and that's it, and that's it. That really works in this game. <laughs> if you watch people's reaction when he'll be like, blah, 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 and that's it. You see people that they're just like, yeah, that's it, that's it, okay, that's it. Those words, for some reason, coming out of Enzo yeah. are really powerful where he's convinced you just like yeah that's that's it yeah i i I just think he's in even if he's not in the committee it feels like he's still in such a good spot and people do like him and he just he's adjacent to it there are people on the committee that you know are working with him one advice to enzo back away from christmas that is the one thing that might slow you down a little bit here at this point yeah and i mean i think he probably will a little bit i she's just a little bit too much for people right no, now. Yeah. I don't I don't see anybody coming to be like, yeah, Christmas no. right now. Nobody's team Christmas right now fully, but no. We'll wrap this video up, but for now, who do you think is going to be the next target after all of this? Will Devon be okay? Is Christmas really going to be in the hot seat for a lot of people? Let us know in the comments if you do like this video. Give us a like, subscribe, support us, check those links to the store, our Patreon, and we'll see you here next time.